Hey, my love. Okay, my love. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So, the person responsible for the Colorado, you know, tragedy of us losing family members in Colorado, you know what doesn't sit right with me is the fact that after this happens and they're on trial, they come out as non-binary. Now, somebody could say, oh, you don't know, they probably were, they were not about here. But it just doesn't sit right with me that they just come out, then it's not about here. And for me, it it's, it's to me disrespectful and dangerous to the non-body as well as the trans community. And I'll tell you why. Because first of all, we already have certain people who, whenever they want to talk about somebody being trans or non-body, they have, you know, People who don't like trans and non people love to pick people who agree with them. So they, so people who have a narrative or a pick out or some negative to say about somebody non-binary trans, the first thing they'll say is, oh, look at that person. They're non-binary. They have mental issues because they love to holler and say that trans and non people have mental issues. Not knowing that to me, in my real opinion, the way a lot of people are obsessed with trans and non people, that right there, that obsession to me seems seems like a mental issue within itself. So for me, it's just for it's just something extra for people to have something negative to say about non-binary people. And honestly, the honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't believe they did, I, I believe they just simply just did that as a defense. I'm, I'm I'm just being real. I'm sorry. Second, I gotta say, I think it's dangerous because right now trans women are being targeted, especially black trans women, trans women on color. You know, you have um drag queens being targeted. And for me, it's like now, if someone hurts like um someone gay, someone trans, someone non-binary, a drag queen, the first thing you holler, oh, I'm non-binary, I'm part of the community. And it creates this this dangerous narrative that needs to just stop. And I feel like nowadays there are people who are just going to holler their non-binary to try to, you know, get off or, or things of that nature. And it just needs to stop. It needs to stop. But because I'm sick and tired of gay and queer people, you know, we're, we're, we're off that we're off that we're not led into a lot of spaces as it is. But nowadays people want to attack the small spaces that we have. And it's just not right. And I'm sick and tired of it. Um, so to my trans and non-binary community, I love you. Let's keep our heads up and let's continue to fight for our rights. I love you. OK. Bye, my loves.